This is CMF Radio, live from London. If you have an online radio station or if you plan to launch an online radio station, you might want to add an Android application to your website for two reasons. One, technical. So if people want to uh, listen to your radio station using your website and if they close the browser on their mobile phone, they will stop uh, the live stream from uh, your radio stations, which is an issue. And the second one is um, a marketing reason. If you uh, are present on the uh, Google Play Store marketplace or on the Amazon uh, Android marketplace or on other uh, Android stores, this will broaden uh, your, your reach um, to, to other people who, who might just uh, purely come across uh, your Android application on the store if they are look or if they are looking actively for your uh, Android application they will find it on the store you, you can also obviously market your Android app on your website the issue is that it it can be very expensive or quite expensive to create your Android app uh, using an online uh, software most uh, radio platforms offer the opportunity to buy an add-on uh, which you will add to your uh, existing plan for um, anything between 15 and 20 US dollars per month. So it might add up to uh, 150, 200 dollars per year, uh, which can be pretty expensive per app. So for the Android app and separately for the iOS app. But I found a very nice uh, service online called uh, Andromo. So this is the website of the service and I'm going straight to uh, the pricing uh, page. You can see that for eight uh, US dollars a month, you can get the starter plan of uh, Andromo, which allows you to create up to 50 different apps. So not only the basic uh, Android app for your online radio station, but also other ideas, uh, other ideas you might have during the year. So you can launch up to 50 different apps. Uh, with all the modules included in Andromo, which we will discover in a few moments. You can run ads or leave it without any advertising using, for instance, AdMob uh, from Google. You can sell your apps on Google Play or on Amazon. And you will keep all the ad or the sales revenues from, from your uh, application. At the moment, so we are now in uh, April 2020, you can also get a discount on a few websites. So this is the discount code, Quarantino Start. So if you use this uh, code, I, I used it a few weeks ago, you can get an, an additional 40% discount on the annual plan. So instead of paying a $96 uh, a year, which is less than 100, you will even pay less. And that's what I did. So let's uh, dive into uh, the application, into Andromo, to see how we can easily build an affordable Android app for uh, your online radio station. So this is the dashboard where you will find all sorts of uh, activities, activities being modules uh, in uh, Andromo. You can create a custom page, uh, you can create a photo gallery, you can create a website, you can create an about page, an RSS feed, uh, you can add a PDF document, you can also obviously add contact uh, widgets uh, uh, via email, a map, a phone number. Uh, you can also embed your Facebook feed, your Twitter feed, uh, your YouTube uh, feed. Uh, you can add links to other applications uh, in the Google Play Store. And uh, most importantly for us, uh, you can add an audio player or if you are running your online radio station as a shoutcast or icecast stream, you can use the shoutcast radio module here. You can also use the podcast module if you want to add the episodes uh, of your podcast. So on the right hand side right here, you can see um, the preview of the app. You can't really play with the preview, but it gives you a, a preview of uh, the welcome page of the app. So as you can see, uh, I have created a few uh, sections. One, the, the first one, which will lead to a player to listen to the radio online. 
the second one which would be a web view of the radio website on cmfradio.com opening inside the native app the next one being an about us page then here uh, the embed of my uh, facebook feed and here um, an original page I created to publish a few uh, official jingles of the radio. So let's dive into, uh, first of all, the easy modules, like the website module. The structure is always the same. You have the basic uh, settings, so the name of the page, website, subtitle, description. You can uh, decide to hide the activity or build it to uh, build it, meaning uh, add it to, uh, to the app, which will be published in the Play Store. Uh, you can um, also obviously create the content. So I, I have added uh, the URL of the website, cmfradio.com. You can determine the uh, orientation, uh, enable Zoom or not. Uh, plenty of other uh, um, settings like uh, do I enable the ads on this page, for instance. Then, if we go to the images, uh, this is where you will, for instance, uh, upload the image that uh, will be used on the home screen so as a link to uh, this section. So this is an image I created uh, in Photoshop. So you can uh, also set um, the, the size. So will it be a wide image cropped or will it be um, uh, a custom sized image uh, I've just uh, decided uh, to stick with the wide image cropped uh, feature so let's go back to the modules the activities um, and go to the Facebook feed for instance another easy module so we can edit it so this is the Facebook feed the title in the top bar the content is just um, the, um, the custom name of my uh, Facebook page which will open uh, the feed right here. So the, the preview uh, doesn't feature my own feed, but in the live version of the app, I get my own feed right here. It's very important to uh, remove the facebook.com part. So just use the username of your page without facebook.com. Then you have the about us page where you will uh, tell some uh, background information about give some background information about your radio station you can expand uh, the box here just some uh, basic information a link to your facebook page a link to your website right here and we will go straight away to uh, the uh, audio player playing the live stream of the radio station let's edit the module so the content here uh, will be one track but as a live stream so you can see here you have two different types of uh, audio files or audio sources one is a file uh, and that's the feature we will use for uh, the jingle player and the other one is a stream from a URL and this is the stream of CMF radio so I just inserted the stream URL of the radio and uh, I set it on autoplay. So as soon as you open the screen, the stream will start buffering and then and then playing on this screen. Let's go back to the home page, and we have the jingles module. So this is a series of uh, MP3s, as you can see. So you can set the title. You can uh, uh, upload the file as many files as you want. And when the user will land on this page. Uh, he or she will just uh, tap on the link and the jingle will start playing. In the theme section, um, you can uh, determine what will be the layout uh, of, your, um, of your app. So it can be a, a card layout like the one I chose or a, a grid layout. But uh, for that, you need to set a grid image for each section. Uh, it can be a list also, just a list of the different uh, sections. Let's stick with the uh, with the card. Okay, let's go back to to here. As you can see, there was just a little bug in the in in the way it's displayed, but I can reassure you, it's perfectly fine uh, in the final version. Uh, if uh, we go to the global style, we can uh, set uh, the color, so the primary color, the accent color, both are red uh, as far as I'm concerned. 
Uh, you can also uh, determine whether there will be or not a background image, a feature image uh, for the application. And then you move to the settings. In the settings, you give a name to your app. Uh, you can also set the version of, your, of the app. So determine what will be the target market. So it could be the Google Play Store, Amazon App Store or Samsung apps. Uh, for this one, uh, it's a package which I uploaded to the Google Play Store. So uh, I set it on Google Play. Category, description, the name of the package, which is important for the Google Play Store. You, you can't choose the name of the package with the starter uh, plan of Andromo, but it's perfectly fine. So also you have to add um, the uh, icon for the application. Um, this one is not useful for us. Uh, the launch notice, which is uh, just something uh, that you have to activate if you are in the Euro European Union, uh, active in the European Union uh, under uh, the GDPR rules. And uh, these two um, these two features, uh, I'm not using them because uh, I'm using the starter plan. They are only available with the pro plan. Then you can go to monetization. I'm using AdMob. I won't click on AdMob because I just don't want to share with you my um, app ID and my uh, banner and interstitial ID. But this is the place where you will set all uh, the credentials from AdMob so that uh, ads can be activated in your app. And here, that's quite important. You just follow the instructions by clicking on the link here and you will um, get a, a JSON uh, file, which you upload here, which will link your app to Firebase Analytics. You can also uh, use Intercom or OneSignal for notifications in your app. Uh, you will just have to add your OneSignal app ID uh, inside, uh, inside the UI here. And then you move to the build section and you can build uh, build your app. So uh, yeah, I didn't uh, save my changes, so I, I can't build it, uh, and I won't uh, and I won't um, save my changes um, because I've I've already built my app and published my app uh, to the Google Play Store. So once you uh, have uh, downloaded the APK, uh, the final build of your app. You will just follow the instructions on the Google Play Store. So for instance, here I'm on the Google Play Store. So if you go to your applications, you just follow uh, the guidelines there. It's, it's quite easy to understand. Um, and you will submit your application to the Play Store. And if you're lucky, if there is no issue with your app, uh, after a few days, uh, it took five to seven days for me, you will be published in the Play Store. So uh, as of today, you can find uh, CMF Radio London uh, Android application on the Google Play Store. So hopefully it will give me some uh, additional reach uh, on the Play Store. I will probably create a duplicate of the app in Andromo to also publish it uh, on uh, the Amazon App Store and on the Samsung Apps uh, Android Store also. So I will have to create then three different versions of the app, but it's not an issue because I can create up to 50 apps with uh, the Andromo starter plan as you saw. So it's pretty uh, easy for me to create an, an additional two, uh, two applications. And I will probably create other applications for other purposes during the year. So it's very uh, affordable, less than $100 a year to create um, up to 50 different Android applications. 